Hi, I'm Kai, and today we have a look at the Weidmüller Configurator. Weidmüller Configurator includes an ePlan interface, and that means when you use Weidmüller products like terminals or other devices, you can exchange the data between ePlan and the Weidmüller Configurator. As a nice feature, the Weidmüller Configurator includes an autocorrection function. That means when you, for example, look for accessories for your terminal stripe, like end plates or end brackets. You don't need to consider this during your engineering. You just exchange the data between ePlan and the Weidmüller Configurator, let the Weidmüller Configurator correct your terminal stripe and send the data back to ePlan. So the interface works in both directions. Another nice feature is that you can also order the terminal stripe completely pre-assembled from that mold. And this process will also be shown in this video. And on the end, I will show you the final product, how your terminal stripe arrive in your workshop. So stay tuned. I have prepared here a small terminal stripe with Weidmüller terminals. And when we click in our terminal navigator, right click and mark our terminal stripe, we can go to edit and see the terminal stripe. What you can see here is that I didn't add any accessories. For example, the end brackets or the end plates. And because I have various terminals, it can be also a little bit difficult to find the right parts. And this can be done automatically within the Weidmüller Configurator. And therefore we exchange now the data with the Weidmüller Configurator. So I close this, mark my terminal stripe, I just want to have the XD1 and not all of them. And then you have here a menu Weidmüller. How to get this, I will show you later in this video. So when we open this, you have here export and start to WMC. And then the WMC starts. First of all, we need to select which informations we want to have from ePlan. If you want to have the function designation, the location designation or something else. So in my case, I just want to have the product, so the device tag, and then comes the nice feature. We can click here on Finish and Auto Solve. What happened now is that the Weidmüller Configurator check your terminal stripe if there are some missing parts or if something is incorrect. And then it auto solves these problems. So here you can now see that we get some end brackets and also the end plates for our different terminals. And now we want to exchange this end bracket with another type. So therefore we mark it, right click and click on replace with similar product. In my case, I get here just one end bracket because I have already saved this as a favorite. And you can filter to all your favorite products. When we uncheck the filter, you get all the products. And when we right click, you can add to favorites. That makes it a little bit easier later when you want to select devices. So in my case, I want to select this one, click OK. And now I have my new end bracket. Here on the left side, you can see the product finder. Here you can search for your products and it is also possible here to select your devices as a favorite. And then you can also filter here for your favorite devices. Now we have changed a little bit our terminal stripe and we have added the accessories. And now we want to exchange the data with ePlan. That means that we have also these parts now in ePlan. And therefore we go here to interface and you can see here ePlan export. Now the Weidmüller Configurator sends the data to ePlan and make the autocorrection from my terminal stripe. When we have now a look, you can see that I got now the end brackets and the end plates and everything is in the right sequence. So everything is in the right position on my terminal, exactly what I have done in the Weidmüller Configurator. And I don't need to consider the accessories by myself.
And now we go back to the white middle configurator and have a look how we can install the interface. This is quite easy. So we go here to File and Interface. And here we have the ePlan interface and can set up the interface. There's nothing else to do as just click on this button. Beside of terminal, you can also add devices to your Dean rail. So on this position, for example, we want to add relays. I have here already marked this relays as my favorite. So this is easy to find for me. I make a right click and here I can, for example, select place on mounting rail repeatedly. That means I can select the quantity. For example, I want to have three, click OK, and I get now three relays on this position. In the next step, I want to have here a placeholder. Maybe I want to have a little bit distance between the terminal and relay. I make a right click and click Add Placeholder. You can select the size of your placeholder and click OK. So now we have modified our Dean rail and that means we let it verify again. And then we get some messages. And when we click on Autosolve, the White Miller configurator automatically correct our terminal stripe with relays. So now we have also some more end brackets. What is now missing are the markings of the relays. We can add this when we click on labeling and markers. And then you can see here the positions and add the labels. So our, our relays are here on position 17, 18 and 19. And that means here we can add 24, 25 and 26. Click OK. And have it now also visible here on our relays. And now we want to order this terminal. Therefore, we click on Request. And here you need to add all your data. And then you can select here under Delivery if you want to have assembled product, individual parts without terminal rail, or individual parts including terminal rail. In our case, we want to order it assembled. And you can also select here the service level, how quick you will get the order. Then you can click on Send. Now we have a look how your terminal stripe will be produced in that mold. We show you some machines which can be bought by yourself if you want. If you use a lot of White Miller products, maybe it makes sense. And you can use the White Miller configurator to exchange data between your machine and the White Miller configurator. Hello, dear Eplon community. Hi, Kai. Thank you for generating the machine data that you have easily transferred from Eplon to our machines using the White Miller configurator. I will now show you how this works and today we will present a fully automated terminal strip including a great marking. How does it work? We do this with three systems, namely our rail cutter, our fully automated mounting rail cutting system, then with rail assembler, our fully automated terminal strip assembly machine. And finally, with our rail laser, which uses laser technology to fully label and mark the entire terminal strip in excellent quality. Let's see how this works in practice. Now let's move on to the first system, which is the rail cutter. Our fully automated mounting rail cutting machine that we use to cut the TS35-7.5 which means the low version. There's also another channel where we can handle the higher version. I'm only doing the 7.5 variant and I'm putting three of them in at the moment. We can stock 22 of each type of mounting rail, which means we stock 44 meters to ensure long unmanned operation. I release the mounting rail and proceed with the assembly using the rail assembly. 
This is the system that assembles a mounting rail with mounting rail components in a fully automated process. What you need for this are, for example, the magazines. I have prepared a miniature version for you so that you can see how many different components we can run on the rail assembler and how we can load them on one and the same magazine, sorted by type, of course. As you know, I don't have to tell you, we don't always have one and the same component in the control cabinet. We have room for 48 magazines here. We get up to 200 terminals from the 2.5 mm squared cross section in one magazine. This means we can have up to 10,000 components in the system at one time. And that leads to unmanned operation for six to seven hours, depending on the configuration, of course. And now we start the automated production process. Now I activate the project or projects, several at once are possible, load it, and then go to the user interface, where I have an overview of the terminal strip, purely as a PDF view. Then the machine gives me assistance as to whether I have booked all the components in the system that I need for the project, and then I start. We start with the zero cut, always according to the ECAD specification, then measure the mounting rail and cut it to length accordingly. We then move it to the embossing section, where we use an embosser to apply a data matrix code that we can scan with a standard scanner and at the same time enter in plain text, such as the project name and the name of the mounting rail. We continue with the rail assembler, which now picks up the components one by one and places them in the correct position, always according to the ECAD specification. We check each snap-on process with a test cylinder, and the rail assembler now works completely unmanned, completing the terminal block fully automatically. The terminal block is now fully assembled. I'm taking it out of the small output platform here. We supply the combination with a large output platform where we can process mounting rails of up to 1.2 meters. We also have a buffer section for up to 14 fully assembled DIN rails, which means that we can operate unmanned for 6 to 7 hours. We have also installed terminals with neutral markers here. We need these for the next production step. Our terminal block is now ready for the marking process. And we do this with our beautiful system, the rail laser. I simply use the barcode function using the data matrix code here. And voila, the project is open. I can see the exact alignment, so I know how to insert the terminal strip. Insert the terminal strip into the system, lock it in place and start the production process. Fully automated marking is now complete. Abrasion resistant, high information density, and even in hard to reach places, no problem for the laser. We have now produced a fully automated, physically assembled DIN rail from the ECAD digital model and can pass it on to the next production process in the cabinet building. Thank you for your interest. Please leave a comment, look at the description, and you'll find some interesting links there. And best regards from Detmold.
und herzliche Grüße aus Detmold. Thanks for showing us how the terminal drives are produced and here is the final product. This just need to be mounted in your cabinet and you are finished with this terminal drive. So what are your thoughts about the white metal configurator? Do you like such tools? Do you would use the delivery service with a pre-assembled terminal stripe? Please let me know in the comments. And if you like this video, please drop a like. Don't forget to subscribe and activate the notifications. Hope to see you in the next video.